Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this week's update. It's been an absolutely brilliant week at school to have all of the children back, and it's been an utter delight seeing so many happy, friendly faces around the building in both phases, primary and secondary. And I want to first of all congratulate and thank all of the children in every single year in the school who have been absolutely brilliant. There have been so many changes in school with one way systems, uh, with staggered starts and finish times, with new lunch times, new break times, zoning the school. All of these different changes in the classroom, walking around with face masks in secondary school. It's been quite incredible how well the children have coped. So thank you very much for that. And thank you and well done for the children. And also thank you to parents and families. We can't do this without you. And you've been absolutely brilliant as well. And again, all of the messages of support have been wonderful. So thank you for that. And especially in primary with all of the parents lining up, you've been brilliant making sure you socially distance outside of school, walking through, collecting your children. So thank you for all of your support and the continued support. It's the only way we're going to get through it together. Now, next week, it looks like the weather is turning. We've been very fortunate to have some glorious weather. Um, but it's just it's just more of a reminder to make sure, especially in secondary, the students wrap up warm. Make sure they're wear, wearing a layer. Make sure they've got something which is warm because we have to open the doors and windows um, in school. And this is to get ventilation into the classrooms. So that's really, really important um, that, that that fresh air is something that will combat the virus. Um, as you will be aware in the news, there has been an increased infection rate and we must be aware of this. So continuing to follow all of the guidance around socially distancing, extra hygiene, all of the students, if you can continue to do that at home as well, that will be brilliant. And following all of the new guidance that's come out recently. Also, if your child or anyone in the family is presenting any of the symptoms of a continuous new cough, a high temperature or loss of taste and sense of smell, um, then uh, it's really, really important that you stay at home, you isolate, you get a test, and then you contact school on the uh, result of the test. If it's positive, you'll need to stay isolated for, if you, if you are the person with the test for 10 days, if you live with someone who's had a positive test for 14 days. If it's negative and you don't have any more symptoms, then, then or the student, your child doesn't have any more symptoms, they can come back into school. So um, if we do go into any sort of partial lockdown, then um, what will happen, or if we get a case in school, sorry, what will happen is we will write to notify you. So far, we've been very lucky. We've been very fortunate. We haven't had any cases, but we will do, no doubt. And what we will then do is notify those families who um, will need to isolate. And there's clear guidance from public health about what that means. And then we'll notify the rest of the school about what's happening. Obviously, we won't share any personal information or any more detail about it, but we'll give you those letters. And it could mean that a small group goes down or an entire year group goes down, depending on the infection. Now, with infection rates having risen, there is a potential of a partial lockdown. And um, I don't think schools will close. I think the government will try and keep schools open as much as possible. But in secondary, there may be a case of where we have to go to a partial timetable. If that happens, then we will be conducting, some students will be in school learning with the teacher and some students will be at home. And they'll be using uh, Teams, Microsoft Teams. And I'm now going to hand over to um, Kevin Norton, who is our Director of uh, Connected Learning, who's been leading on the creation of all of our teams and making sure that all students have got access to online learning. So this is the way that you can access online learning from home and uh, you will see that all of the teachers are putting their resources on there for your children to use. So um, I should hand over to Mr Norton now and that's enough from me. So uh, good night, uh, have a good week, keep safe and I'll speak to you next week. Thanks very much. Hello, my name is Mr Norton and I'm a teacher at the Halifax Academy. I'm here today to talk to you about a new application being used in school called Teams. Teams is part of the school's ongoing response to COVID-19 and to make sure that we have a platform to enable students to learn whether they're in school or at home with you. In today's video, I just want to talk about how to get set up with Teams at home and also how you can support your child with their learning going forward. To get started with Teams, if you're using a laptop or a home computer, you need to open a web browser, just like the one I've got in front of you here. And in the address bar, you need to type teams.microsoft.com. That will allow uh, your son or daughter to log straight into Teams. If they're using a phone or a tablet, 
they can also download the Teams app for free from the App Store. Once your child has logged into Teams, they will see a screen that looks something like this, where each of their classes is shown as a tile. If you want to see what your child is learning uh, or any comments from their teachers, you can look with them, click into a class and see the latest posts for that particular subject. When a teacher sets home learning, that's work that needs to take place at home, that will be as part of an assignment within a class. So within this particular class, there's an assignments tab and you would see an assignment that looks very much like this. So if you want to know what pieces of work of home learning that your child has got to complete in an evening, you'd need to sit with them and look at the assignments that they've been set. As we go forward, we will be sending you out regular updates about how well your child is getting on with their learning. This will include information about how many assignments they've been set, which ones they've completed on time, and which ones they've still yet to complete. I hope you found that short video uh, informative and we'll be back in contact soon with more information.